as part of the training to become a qualified mechanic for Dassault's Falcon business jets, instructors now have a new high-tech tool. Using the original Katia CAD drawings, students can wear VR goggles to explore a virtual aircraft mock-up before working on the actual aircraft. This approach allows for flexibility in teaching groups of students, since it wouldn't be possible to position them all within the tight confines of the various aircraft systems. So we started to load something around the landing gear. Uh, can you see the blue guy waving over here? That's me, the instructor. And you are the trainee, you're red today, so if you move your hand as well, uh, wave back, okay, high five, hello. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then you can see that uh, all my movements and yours uh, are tracked by the system. So let's say today uh, I have an instruction, uh, I have a lesson about uh, the wing. I can easily select the, the upper, the underwing panel, and you see that's a, it's a huge part of the aircraft. We cannot remove that in two weeks, so we won't do it in a real training session. But here in virtual reality, we can do it. I can remove it, and then you can see all the, 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 the cables and the pipes inside. And to have a better view, we can climb on top of the wing. I'm going to bring you with me. And we are on top of the wing together. And I can even select the upper wing panel. And I'm going to put it to transparent as well. And so you have a complete view of all the pipes and wirings that are going through the wing. And it's a digital mock-up from Katia, so it's color-coded for design. So in red, it's the fuel. In green, uh, hydraulic. In yellow, electrical systems. And so it's easy to understand how the system is done. And uh, we can go pretty much wherever we want so uh, if we want to go to a, a more, let's say, a, a narrower area or something more constrained, let's go to, let's go to the mechanical compartments. That's interesting, the Cushing Bay over there. So I'm going to look at it. I have some uh, hot spots all around the aircraft to move around. And here we are. If you step back a little bit, maybe, because may, maybe a bit close. Here you are. This is a battery pack, for instance. And you want to explain to the trainees how it's fitted. And you see this, this area is big enough for one or two person, but not three or four. And with headsets, there can be 11 of us at the same point inside the 3D. And yes, you can try to see to remove the cables and have equipments. And if you want to see how the cables are fitted inside this, I can highlight it, put it transparent, and then you can move closer and see how it's, how it's fitted together, how it's, how it's installed. So one thing you could tell me is that these colors are not the real one, right? Of course. Of course. And what we have done is that we also took a lot of photos of the real thing. And so you can also have a real photo of this, the thing I hide it before. This is the battery. In real life, it's red. Uh, this is the um, hydraulic tank. Uh, we have fire extinguisher, the little spheres over there. You see the blue squares is what I'm looking at, and the red one is what you're looking at. So I can check that my trainees are looking at the correct thing. And this is another fire extinguisher over there. And this is a door for the S duct over there. And we can go pretty much wherever we want to uh, with this mock-up. So let's say I want to perform an operation uh, on the, well, where is that? Yes, near the rudder. I'm going to bring you with me. And we climb it just on top of the aircraft. And if you don't have all the structure around, you cannot do this during a real training. But yet, here, I can select the whole section here, I have the part number that's popping up. This is helping me if I have documentation to read about it. I can look at the number and I'm going to put it transparent. And you can see how the mechanism uh, for the rudder is installed, how the wiring is coming through, the hydraulics is coming through, um, how it's installed, uh, we, how the actuator is installed inside, etc. And this is enable, enabling the, the instructor to really show anything to the trainees and then they go to the real aircraft and see it in real life, and then they understand right away how it's done, what was inside this panel, for instance. For now, it's just about looking at things and see how the instructor is doing it. So, okay, this you have to remove it this way to unplug it here, basically, because uh, they are already mechanics uh, that they know their work, so we won't teach them how to unscrew something. They already know that. But it's more interesting to have a global view of the system. For instance, I can. Instead of selecting a part of the aircraft, I can show all of it, but filter it by system. So let's say I want to show you all the electric system of the aircraft. This is it. This is the full wirings of the Falcon 7X. And I'm going to bring you closer to have a closer view. And you see all the wirings that are going from the engines over there. If you look behind us, you'll see going through the cockpits right behind us. Can you see them? You have to turn around over there. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Can you see them? 
This is the wirings coming from the cockpit and the flight control system and up to there. So you have really uh, it's the same thing for hydraulics, fuel, anything you want. And we can go wherever we want to. So I'm going to ask you, where do you want to go now? Let's go into the cockpit. All right, all right. It's a full mock-up, so that's what we use to design the aircraft, so everything is there. Uh, I'm going to move closer. Here we are in the galley section, but let's go to the cockpit. And you see this was not prepared, you know, so the instructor really has the full data and can go wherever he wants to uh, if, he, if a question arises or something. So let's say you ask me, how can I remove the overhead panel? Yeah. Uh, I know that, I have to remove this part, uh, this is a little door. I'm going to remove it and then I say, okay, you have to unplug this thing and then there is this screw over there and this one over there and then be careful when you remove it because something is tricky about it. And so when they'll do it for real, they remember that you have these three things to unplug and it, they, it will be way easier for them to understand. We can do the same thing for the screen over there. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move us closer a little bit. I'm going to put this transparent and here we are, closer to it and you can even look inside if you want to, and like physically move forward to have a better look. Can you see it? Yeah. And so you can see how it's installed, you can point me to a thing, okay, what's this cable, what's this equipment, and how do I put my hand to remove it, and you can see clearly what are your options when you do it for real. We also have a real photo of the aircraft at the same position, so you can see the real colors and how it's installed. And if I go back, I can even during my training do something that's not doable in real life. I'm going to bring you closer. I can remove the structure and this is tricky because, uh, well, you cannot do it in real life, but still it's interesting because you can easily explain how the systems are fitted together. And so here you are, I'm removing the isolation mattress and you can see all the cables, all the system. And can you spot the blue one over there? Do you see a blue cable here? Yeah? This is uh, actually, uh, the blue is the oxygen. So what I can guess is the equipment over there uh, should be uh, the oxygen mask for the pilots. So I'm going to select it. Uh, I can look at the reference MSC 13 in the documentation. I should have info, but here I'm going to say yes. And you can see the oxygen mask inside, right? And so this is an easy way to explain to uh, trainees how an aircraft is made, what's inside, and then when they go to the real aircraft, well, if they have to remove this equipment, they remember that there's a cable behind and all the information they need. So there's one last thing you can do. If you look at the palm of your left hand, you'll see a little, you have to look at your hands. Okay, all right. And look at, look at the, un, the other side of your hand. Turn them around. Okay, perfect. And if you press the button highlight mode. Yeah, okay, do it again and do it. Okay, perfect. And remove your hands. And now you see you have your little visor in the middle of the screen. And this is, enabling you to highlight any equipment and to have the part number of the equipment. Ah. So if you have a documentation, you need some information about this thing, well, you just write down the F7X something and then you have all the info you need. Thing is, it's not a tool with um, know-how in terms of formation. Because we believe that the instructor is the one who knows how to train his, his, his right. mechanics, right? And so it's just another tool in his toolbox to explain easily to a mechanic how uh, the aircraft is made, how the hydraulic system is set up, and how to easily remove stuff. But since he has got everything, he can go wherever he wants to. If, a, if you have a question about another part of the aircraft, you can load it up as well and have a look for it. So uh, that is the objective, to have a, a tool you will use sometimes um, with uh, a lot of efficiency and then you go in the real aircraft perform the operation.